Curfew continues in parts of Shillong after night-long violence, Army Conduct's flag march. A day after violent clashes erupted between the police and an unruly mob, Army conducted flag march in some parts of the Meghalaya capital. Curfew continues in parts of Shillong after night-long violence. Army Convicts flag march a day after violent clashes erupted between the police and an unruly mob, Army conducted flag march in some parts of the Meghalaya capital. Violence. Superintendent of Police, City, Stefan Rinju sustained injuries after he was hit by a rod and has been admitted to the Shillong Civil Hospital. At least 10 people, including policemen, have been injured in the violence, which has triggered demands that the government take action against alleged illegal settlers in the area. State police personnel were attacked by stone belters in the rest of Matfran area of the city. Tear gas shells were used to disperse rioters but people in other parts mistook it for police firing, a senior police officer on duty was quoted as saying by PTI. Meanwhile, the army conducted flag march in some parts of the Meghalaya capital. The flag march was conducted late on Friday in the Mothran area after the clashes broke out in the city a day earlier. The army is on standby and will be deployed if the situation warrants. The situation is still tense but under control, Deputy Commissioner of East Kasi Hills District, Peter S. told DNs on Saturday. Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma, who chaired a high-level meeting on Friday, had appealed for calm and urged the people to help bring back normalcy in Shillong. The clashes had begun after a bus handy man was allegedly assaulted by a group of residents of the meter area on Thursday afternoon. Trouble escalated when rumors spread on social media that the handy man had succumbed to injuries, prompting a group of bus drivers to converge at the meter. The police had to fire tear gas shells to disperse them, officials said. The Hattiman and three injured persons were taken to a hospital where they were released after being administered first aid. The East Kasi Hills District authorities had imposed night curfew in the entire city from 10 p.m., Friday, till 5 a.m., Saturday, to maintain peace and prevent arson. One person, accused of being involved in the assault of three local boys, has been arrested and the police are looking for his accomplices. Curfew, which was imposed since 4 a.m. yesterday in at least 14 localities under Lumbing Dre Police Station and Cantonment Beat House. Continues, District Deputy Commissioner P.S. told PTI. He added that there was no curfew in police bazaar and Yudab, bar bazaar, areas even as shops, schools and banks in these areas remained closed. Meanwhile, several groups including the Kasi Students' Union, KSU, the Federation of Kasi Jainsha and Garo People, FKJGP, and the Hinetrap Youth Council demanded that those involved in the assault of local boys be punished and the illegal settlers at the meter evicted. The KSU leader also said that the government should evict illegal settlers at the meter which is adjacent to Yuda, 